Right, so we've got this crazy looking integral with loads of logs and these weird integral limits. So how do we approach this? So the key observation we're gonna need is we have loads of logarithms, but we also have the term one over x. And one over x is actually the derivative of log of x. So if we think about using the substitution, if we're gonna let y equals log of x, then the one over x term is gonna cancel when we use the substitution because we're gonna get dy equals one over x, which is the derivative of log of x times dx. So immediately we see that we can just replace dx over x by dy. And then all the log x's we just replace by y. So this is gonna simplify as the integral. Well, we need to change our limits, but we'll do that in a second. So replace log of x by y. We have y times the logarithm of log of x, which is y, so y log y. And then as we are saying, dx over x, this we can replace by dy. And already this looks a lot nicer. Um, so we need to think about the limits. What do they change to? And if we input e into this expression, we're gonna have logarithm of e, well that's just one because we're thinking of the natural logarithm. So our lower limit is gonna be one. And if we put logarithm of e to the power of e, then using the, the power law, we can bring down the e to the front we'll have e times log of e, which we know is just e, because log of e is one. So our upper limit is going to be e. And already this is a lot nicer, um, but we can't evaluate straight away. We actually gonna need to use integration by parts. So we can differentiate this, we can integrate this, and we're gonna be left with a nice polynomial. So that's kind of what motivates integration by parts here, because we want to eliminate this log of x term. So just remember the integration by parts formula, it's gonna look something like this. So if you want to integrate u times the derivative of v with respect to some variable, we're using y at the moment, then we can also express this as u times v minus the integral where we switch the derivative. So it's now u dashed v and with respect to dy. So we want to identify u and v here. Um, we can differentiate log of x, that's quite nice. And we can also integrate y. So um, we're gonna assign u to be log of y and v dashed to be y, because then u dashed is one over y and v is y squared over two, just integrating y. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug this into the formula. And what do we get? So we're gonna get u times v, so the cross terms here, we're gonna have uh, y squared over two times the logarithm of y with the limits 1 to e and then we have minus the integral of u dashed v so these bottom two terms and we see the 1 over y is going to cancel with one of the y's in the v term so we're going to have y over 2 dy and don't forget the limit so 1 to e and now we have this uh, term which we can evaluate that's nice and we also have this integral which is a very simple polynomial and we can integrate that as well so we just need to evaluate this now so Putting these limits in, we have e squared over two times log of e, which is just one. So I won't write that down, but we also have minus the limit one. So we'll have one squared over two, which is a half times log of one. And we know that log of one is just zero, so we'll have minus zero. So this is just evaluating this term and then integrating this. This is nice, it's minus y squared over four We've just raised the power by one and then divided by a new power. That's very standard. And then we need to evaluate this with the limits. So again, we're gonna put e in here and minus the one. So we have e squared over two minus e squared over four. And then we have double minus, which turns into a plus. And then we're gonna put one in here. So we're gonna have one over four. And then e squared over two minus e squared over four. That's the same as e squared over four, and we have the plus a quarter. So I'll just simplify this a little bit. We have one over four times e squared plus one. And this is our answer, which is actually quite nice um, for this horrible looking integral in terms of logs.